I went in prepared with another rope, thinking it's not going to use their system to get them down. So that's the situation here. That we will give you a specific scenario, but just to keep this real basic for the demo, put the systems out. It's holding him in the tree, but we're not going to use it to lower, lower him down. And for some reason, we need to lift him up. So that might even be as much as needing to get this carabiner up. Because if that's all weighted up, like even with that right here, like, I'm not even joking. I, I can barely get that off. So that's the, that's the reason why they need lifting up first. And you know, it's all about cutting ropes and things like that. That is a absolute last resort and you need to be really sure what you're doing. So if that rope's under tension and even if you think you've got them in another system they're likely to drop like and people panic if I cut the wrong rope then I just that's not something we're gonna plan to do just cutting any ropes. Uh, so you can't use that system we've got a rope there's a rope already in the tree we can use for access um, it's only going to be set up like this, no cambium save or anything, up to you how you want to get into the tree, but I'd be utilising this rope, um, and then, like we said, we're going to set another rope for them. I think that's a, a safer option, and we've got plenty of gear to do all that. So, verifying that, that anchor point's good for two person load if you need to. But I'm going to try and set up a system for Quentin off that branch that he's on there, just to save having to go right up to the top. And we'll see how we go. Obviously, those two rings on the camion saver are quite far apart. So that's going to be adding a bit of friction, but I think it'll be good to, for this, this demo. Can you see how long we are setting up all that gear for? Like when um, Dalton was talking then, like that's taken me 10 minutes to get all this gear ready. Um, being prepared is something, I don't think you realise how long it takes until you, until you actually do it. Linton mentioned he's got a, a bag in the year. You know, we've, we've talked about rescue kits and why they may or may not be a good idea, but having a rope with a hitch climber set up on it, that's saved you a few minutes. There. That's just that, that's exactly what I got that there. With a rope wrench hooked up to it. Go. If I wasn't too sure about it, get someone else to jump on there with me, test it out. Every time, stop a knot. Plus, you still are putting stop a knots in. Don't do that on your assessment, you will not pass, and then you'll get another go. Something as simple as that. Be there to remind you every time. And just in case, for well, whenever we do decide to start using Quentin system, or he does decide he's going to let himself down before I get up there, always stop the mask. So I've got, I've got a line I can use to get in there. Yeah, I probably could have set them. Um, maybe set Quentin's second system up from the ground, but I've got to go up there anyway. So I think that would be a waste of time. Just the throw line.
drag wrench set up. The tussock needs to hold your full body weight without the wrench on there. Last week, this whole time, it'll be checking in with the, the casualty, trying to reassure them, even if they're unconscious, they might still be able to hear me, telling them what I'm doing, telling the emergency services what I'm up to, constantly reassessing the situation. Yourself comfortable and secure first before doing anything with them. Okay. 
I do this climbing all the time. Yeah, cool. I, I like that. I just didn't really. It's, it's way. It's so much more comfortable. Yeah, that's because yeah, I was doing it a lot. When I was twisting my body, I feel like I would have been better off doing that. Yeah. But I didn't even think of it. So, so got to a casualty. Yeah, confirmed their system for whatever reason. We're not using it. Um, I can't get them off of that because I literally tried to show you then and I couldn't, couldn't lift them. So we've got a, a hauling system here. We'll see how it goes first. Just a real simple one. Um, Benton's near, near a branch, so I'm able to stand up like right, right, right next to him and do a lift and see how this goes. Uh, uh, this is this would be my first go-to because it's so easy to set up and. See, although I'm introducing a bit of slack into Quentin's system, it's still quite hard for me to working, working get him that full. They haven't, they haven't even gone 30 mil yet. Yeah. So, Sam, would that be a decision that you would have made? You're looking okay, like a bigger time, or would you have gone that way down with his line, set him another point for the lifting? So, I'm not going to be able to use the simple method to pick him up. Yeah. Yeah, right done. Yep. Um, so, yeah, the reason I'm showing this is just because it, it can be done. Yes. But like, and if I didn't have a branch, if I was, okay, let's, let's do this. Yeah, we are, we are yeah. in midair. You feel like you're okay. yourself. We're midair now. No chance. Yeah. That's, no. Well, we it's no, nothing. Oh, there's no way that's gonna work. <laughs> Uh, I'm, 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 I'm pushing 95 kilos. Yeah, big lamb roast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, you're also putting more strain on your own climbing rope. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Absolutely. So that's when I said I was looking at the anchor points yep. on this rope, checking it was good for a two-person load. Yeah. Well, theoretically, that's what I'm doing to it when I'm trying to lift yeah. Yeah. And then Quentin. Uh, Maybe Sam, he's having up the top. Yeah. yeah. The CSM has an under the carabiner or the pinto. You had the prusik, the carabiner, and the, and the pulley all connected up. It hasn't undone anything yet. Double, double check. You use the Clem Heist Prusik up there with, not, with quite a few wraps on it. You can't see what, what he's done. Come and have a look. Not, the main thing is you don't want those. Yeah. You don't want the double fishermen's anywhere near the Clem Heist. Just so see how many wraps he's got in that Clem Heist. The double, double fisherman is at the base of the loop. Oh, yeah. Very, very, very close to uh, Carabiner. It's just kind of in free air. Uh, it's not part of the night. Yeah, that goes through. This, this is the sort of stuff you've got in your own kit, possibly. So, see how this goes. Let's go mid-air. It's still a two to one. Three to one now. Three. Three to one? Oh, oh, this is hard. Oh, you see it. Yeah, it's three to one. <laughs> <laughs> How high have we gone? Oh, that looks good. Uh, 10 centimetres. Was 10 centimetres? Right. Two to one, right? That's, really, that's crazy 15. how easy it went up with that. So see, see how Sam's got his, his, his legs out of sight of me? He's, he's got control of me all the, all the way. Yeah. Mind it doesn't work like for me, you got more control. <laughs> <laughs> so, gotta be really careful with check, checking that plus it's cinched up before hey, so you have a death situation. Let go of the tail of the rope. Yeah. Check 
Yeah, yeah. Press it before I let go of the pedal. Now, now I've got him up a bit higher. Right, swap. Swap over. See, I'm still, I'm still kicking on my original system. How high have we gone? Half a meter. Half a meter? Maybe slightly That's why I was asking yeah. if yeah. I was asking for like, a third. Yeah, because like, you know what I mean? I'll be like, you can ask down a little bit more. It's supposed to be unconscious. Just set. We got to do it. Yeah, that's a meter. No, be close. He, he was sitting on the log. <laughs> I'm getting a bit low to <laughs> do anything else here. So, Sam. lift yourself up a bit. Sam. Yep. Before you, once you attach Quinton's system, could it be beneficial in some cases if you needed a big pull to do the climbing first and attach the pulley right up? Yep. At the top. Yep. And then come back. Yep, could be. Um, the thing with this, method is getting this in the right spot as you're coming down. You need to take the plastic out in order to come to the ground. Um, but to bring it yep. back. So I'm just going to get onto that. So now I'm just putting myself up closer to Quentin's level again. And so I got him up high, high enough so he's out of his system and you can really see how these ropes need to be really parallel yeah if we were if either of us were the ropes were deflected that would be so much harder again mm. um so put the other lanyard here that's what i'm going to use to make this bridge to bridge connection and does anyone remember why it's there and not there Sideways. Oh, you get tipped sideways. Yeah. Yeah. And if you, you should, if you can't imagine that, you really should try it. And it's very uncomfortable. You want to come down real quick. So we're secure together now. Quentin's on a new system. Um, but I'm not going to detach his one yet. So I'm not ready to come down yet. So before you're ready to come down, you kind of keep that as like your set their second point of attachment as well, even though it's not working. Yeah, yeah. So I've been leaving that on until I know yeah. exactly that they're going to be secure enough in this new system. So why can't I come down on this? Yeah. Because that's going to go up to the yeah. Have it so to get down. Yeah. If you're lucky, it might break. It might break because then it breaks it and slides down the rope. But if it gets jammed up there, we're stuck. We're stuck midway somewhere. You're not lucky if you're getting rescued from so a tree. So we got loose gear here. Let's go straight back on there. This is why it's good to yell out. You know, if you're about to come down, you check with the ground crew. But and then. Hopefully, if you didn't spot that, they might. System's holding. So, let's get their compromise system out of the way. Come down. Yeah? Hold on. Take this off. See, it's so so often. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come down there. I come down like this, and then that gets loaded up. Oh, and then up. you gotta go back. You, you taking you got, all the rest of the shit off. You then. to ascend now. If I need to go back, back up off. again, let's say that you know that was maxed out, and I was right at the end of it, and I couldn't just take it off. Well, it's gonna be work. really. It's gonna be a lot of work for me yeah. to lift Quentin up again. So I've got to rebuild that. That claim heist up there. So yeah, you really need to make sure that everything is good to go there. So much to consider, eh? Because yeah, at all it takes you go, yeah, I'm ready to go down then. 
So like I said, you have them set up like this. Maybe injury, maybe he's got his legs damaged, bleeding all over me, something like that. Go around this way instead. We've got a way of holding Quentin up. If you get around like this, hold him. And hold my device at the same time. So, alright, stand clear, coming down. <laughs> and then the benefit of having them on another system is when we get to the ground. Get all this out of the way, they're still hanging there. There's lots of ropes going on. Maybe there's a Maybe there's another hazard in the tree. We don't want the emergency services coming in. We don't have enough helmets for them, whatever. Brenton's still on this system. We can get someone to help and then we can move them out away from the tree. Okay. Nice. But the type of the whole rescue isn't finished until you can disconnect them from the system. Just pull that part around the hanging of the rope, but they're not down there. You can't expect the paramedics to know how to... Yeah, that's equipment. <laughs> so, um, whoever was recording that, how long did that take? 22 minutes. 20 minutes, 20 minutes. 20 minutes from off the ground. Yeah, that's right here. Slowly going through this step. Yeah.